I'm Stanley Prannon of Aikido Journal. Today I'd like to talk about my beginning in Aikido. I'm sure each and every one of you has their own story about how you began the art, what prompted you to begin studying, and I have mine, and here it is for you today. We have to rewind back to May of 1962, probably before many of you were born. On that day, I was attending high school in Southern California, and we had what was called in those days an assembly. This is where the student body came together to watch some kind of event or presentation. On this particular day, it took place in the gymnasium where the gymnastics uh, events went, uh, took place, where the basketball games were held and this sort of thing. But on this day, the wrestling mats were spread out, and we saw a demonstration of some strange art called Aikido. That's the way we pronounced it in those days. Now, recall that we're talking about 1962, so the terms Judo and Karate are not known by most people at all. And certainly the name of Aikido was totally unheard of for us. We had no idea what we were going to witness. Well, on that day, what we saw actually was a demonstration of Yoshinkan Aikido. Believe it or not, in that relatively small town, there was nearby a school of Yoshinkan Aikido, one of the very first in the mainland of the United States. In any event, uh, what we saw there on that uh, demonstration was very interesting. We saw maybe six or seven young men on the mat doing all these throws that involved uh, joint walks, uh, it was very dynamic action. Well, it was Aikido, it was Yoshinkan Aikido, and it was uh, very impressive to see, especially for young boys who dreamed of being strong and uh, liked excitement. So, uh, my, myself and my peers were very pleased with what we saw, and I actually wanted to follow through a little bit, so I got about three of my friends, and a few days after the demonstration, we went down to the local school to watch a class of Aikido. And uh, of course we sat there and uh, saw the uh, class unfold with warm-up exercises and then the presentation of techniques and we saw the effectiveness of the uh, techniques, we saw the camaraderie of the students there and it was all very interesting. And to think that you could learn a martial art and how to defend yourself, well that was uh, quite a, an attractive proposition. But I was a senior in high school and the year was coming to an end and it just wasn't the time for me to begin something like Aikido. Well, what was it that was the trigger in my case? We go forward a few months into the August of 1962. During the summertime, uh, uh, there was a party being held, at an outdoor party, a garden party. And I was invited and I was happy to go because during the summer you usually got bored and this was an event that was interesting. Well, as the party progressed, suddenly something happened. What happened was there were some rocks that were thrown into the garden where the party was being held. Obviously, this was dangerous. Somebody might get hit by the rocks. So what happened was a friend of mine, a fellow named Gus, he was a, a young Italian fellow, fairly sturdily built, a little overweight. He wore glasses. He was a an outstanding tenor and he performed in the school musicals. Anyway, Gus walks outside to see what's happening and I saw him go out alone and I decided to follow behind. When we got out there, we saw about probably seven or eight uh, guys, all of whom we knew because they were students at the same high school. They probably had been drinking and uh, Gus goes out and talks to the leader, a fellow named Mike, who I'm eternally grateful to for <laughs> setting up the circumstances that would change my life. But anyway, Mike was very belligerent. Gus talked to him to try to get them to stop what they're doing, to go home and just leave everybody alone. Of course they would have nothing of it. And uh, what happened is two boys moved in behind my friend, held him from behind, and then Gus proceeded to punch him out and pummel him and break his glasses, which fell to the ground, his eye was bloodied. It was a very, very horrible scene to see. 
and I was only a few feet away and I, I kind of made a motion to go forward but I was really not in a position to do anything and a couple of guys held me. Fortunately for me, for me they did nothing. But uh, I felt totally helpless to be there to watch this, this horrible act of evil take place and it left a, really an indelible impression on my mind. Now what happened in my case is that was the trigger that moved me to action. Two days later I went down to the same school, signed up, and began training. And that's how I began Aikido. It, I saw an act of violence at close range and the, the power of it, the sheer evil of it, moved me to action and I hoped that I would learn enough skills that someday if I ever was in a situation where something was going on, I would have some means to deal with that situation. So that's my story. I'm sure you all have your stories. Uh, feel free to write them out if you like. I enjoyed uh, sp spending time with you today. I hope you enjoyed my little tale and uh, that's how it all began. Thank you very much.